So, we are doing a scaled down model of the solar system, and we're going to base it off that the sun was the size of this basketball. And the rest of the solar system would be out here, and these are the planets, those little golf ball looking foam golf balls I get at Walmart. And yet, the rest of the solar system is going to be out there. And we're going to measure how far away. So the sun's going to go right here. And I got a separate camera because GoPro. Because I got to use my phone to measure. And I can't do multiple things on the phone because the camera feed cut out. So we're going to use the GoPro to help film. So we're going to put the planet stuff. Mercury would be about right there. Venus would be about right here. Venus, Venus is right there. And the sun would be not even visible, actually. Earth would be about right here. Earth is right there. <laughs> yep, Mars would be about right here. right there Jupiter is next Okay, about, about right here. It's a little bit off, but eh. Okay, Jupiter. Saturn, that's 820 feet away from the sun. Pretty close to about there. Okay, Saturn would be about right there.
where Uranus goes. I accidentally mixed up the list for Neptune and Uranus, but yeah, I, could, I fixed it. And that's at 16.45, eight. Yeah, just mixed them up. Uh, Neptune is 2,580 feet. So my camera cut off, and I don't know, but this is probably where it left off. It's around Uranus. The next one is Pluto. Right there. Roughly around 2,500 feet. Video cut off. About half a mile from the sun. So right about here will be Pluto. That's the rest of the solar system out there, like three-fourths of a mile. And there's, yeah, that's the whole solar system. See, so far you can't even see the sun anymore. Yeah, my battery's getting kind of dead. But yeah, that's kind of the tour of College Hill, College Hill, Tennessee. Right, it's like Chattanooga and tour of the miniature solar system scale. So my GoPro battery was like basically dead so I switched to my phone. But now we're going to go to the next star. And some of you might be thinking, how far do you think that is? Well, you might be thinking, think it's the other side of the city? No. A couple hour drive. Nope. We're gonna have to go much further than that. We're gonna have to take a little drive here in just a minute. And we're gonna have to do some traveling. Some of y'all may be thinking, maybe toward Atlanta? Nope. We're gonna have to go much farther than Atlanta. So, if the sun was the size of a basketball, and the sun was located in Chattanooga, Tennessee, the next star would be located right here, here in Paris. There would be nothing else in between the solar system and the sun. By the way, I forgot to say this when I was in Paris. The next closest star, the name of it, is called Proxima Centauri, and it's part of the Alpha Centauri star system. So just to show everyone on the maps where we were, just to give uh, more of a reference. So right here is where we put the sun, and then the, oh, right over here was the inner planets. Uh, outer planets were scattered throughout this little park, and it's called the Little Debbie Park because that's where Little Debbies are made, just a few miles down the road from there. And Pluto was not even half a mile, just actually just barely half a mile. And this is in College Hill, Tennessee. And Pluto was right over here. And the sun was right over here. And to show you how far within the maps, just how far the next star would be Proxima Centauri. 
I mean, just for Paris in re relation to the city of Paris. Zoom all the way out. Just come all the way over here. Right there. 4,330 something. It depends on where I'm Paris, but wow. That's how far it is. If the sun was the size of a basketball, that's how far the next star would be. There would be nothing in between. So to get to Paris, I had to go down to Atlanta Airport and put up with all this mess, this huge traffic mess. And we hopped on a Delta aircraft and had an okay flight. I mean, what was it? Eight, nine, ten hours? I don't remember. But yeah, it was an okay flight and it took a whole lot of work and effort to get to Paris to make this part of the video. And while I was out there, I got to go sightseeing, see some other stuff, saw the Arc de Trump, uh, saw the Notre Dame, and I also got to check out the bike race in Belgium. That's called the Tour of Belgium, also called the Tour de Flanders. And yeah, it's a great bike race if you get a chance to check it out, if you ever go over there. And please like and subscribe to this video. It took a lot of effort.